Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to deploy an automatic grid trading bot on the Bitscap platform trading the Bitcoin USD pair on Coinbase Pro. Now, before we get in the weeds, if you're not familiar with Bitscap, it is kind of an all-in-one platform that offers trading where you can actually connect your all of your exchanges and trade from this one platform without having to jump between the exchanges. Uh, I did a video not too long ago on their alerts that will alert you when there's certain price action happening on a particular pair and get in or out of a position. I've also done a video on their arbitrage feature. Uh, pretty interesting. I'm still playing with that and we'll probably have an updated video in the future. So now would be a good time to subscribe. But the feature I use the most is their bot, their grid trading bot. Super powerful, extremely easy to configure and an excellent weapon for easy profits on a target like Bitcoin that you want to hold for the long term. And with that all being said, let's get to it and configure this grid bot on BTC USD on the Coinbase Pro Exchange. Now, one of the things I consider when configuring a grid bot on Bitscap is where am I going to set my upper and my lower limits? And what that basically refers to, if you see this grid in here, the green lines and the red lines, that's the grid. It sells on the red lines on the way up and it buys on the green lines on the way down so what it's basically doing is it's buying the dip and selling the rip up and with that i want to have an upper limit now with the upper limit they do have a feature for the upper limit to continue to move up with the price action and on the lower limit they do have a stop loss if it continues to go down and you want out perhaps so in order for me to determine my upper and lower limits i usually go to the chart and on the chart, I will look at resistance and support levels. And in this case, looking at Bitcoin on Coinbase on the one hour chart recently over the last seven days, we can see resistance. We broke off of around 14,000 and we've had support around the 12, seven range. Now, if we look back a few more days, we will see where we actually came right into that 12, seven range and kind of chopped along. And this whole time, during this whole choppy price action, there's opportunities for profit, even though it's not busting through resistance or, say, support. Each time it goes up, your bot could be selling for profit. Each time it comes down, the bot could be buying in at lower prices only to, again, sell on the next wave up. Buy on the way down, sell on the wave up. We see a whole lot of these little ups and downs that it could be selling and buying. And so for instance, this little move here, it would have been selling, buying back on the way down. So you're staying in Bitcoin. If you're a firm believer in holding on to Bitcoin, yes, you're gonna sell some of it for profit only to be able to buy back more. So you'll actually be accumulating perhaps more Bitcoin. And on the next leg up, like we see here, you'll again be selling for more profit, increasing the dollars that you'll be able to invest back into Bitcoin. And so the numbers I'm looking at are this 14,000 and the 12.7, as I stated earlier. And that's where this last push up got tired and started moving sideways. So for me, this is a support line. If we bust through that, I'd rather see how far are we gonna bust down. And then obviously the resistance is that $14,000 level, which you can see back in January 2018, the last time it was up around the 14.3 mark, which was a high. Here we got to 13.6 back in July, June 2019. And this level is a definite source of resistance. Now, if we can bust through this level and stay above it, the next move logically is up to around the 17,000, the $17,000 level, and then 20,000. And then it's all open air above that. And so that example of buying in on January 2018 at say around 14,000, this whole way down, you could have been buying and selling this move up. Buying, sell the move up for profit. Buying, sell the move up. 
Each time this goes down, you could have sold on the way back up for a profit. And that will only add to how much Bitcoin you can buy each time it dips down. That is the power behind the Bitscap grid bot. So let's get to actually configuring this now. And so we need to determine what do we want for our lower level and our upper level. So for me, I would definitely have the upper level at around 14,000. If it breaks above it, the grid bot will follow it up. So that's not an issue. It's not like I won't be continuing to sell or participate in the market. But the big thing for me is if, I, if it breaks below, for me, that level is 12.7. But for some of you, you might feel more comfortable, say down around this $12,000 level, which is about where this last step up started. And as we scroll back, you can see it kind of was moving sideways, hitting resistance at the 12. We'll go to the daily, get a better look. And you can see when it started its move up, it hit a lot of resistance along this 12,000 mark, moving sideways. Again, great opportunity for the grid bot to make you money on these sell-offs and on the next leg up. So you might say 12,000 was previous resistance. You're looking at it to be future support, or you might even look at 10,000, which did seem to kind of set up as support after this move up. So maybe you go all the way down to 10,000. For me, I'm going to put it at 12.7. And so we jump back over to the grid and you can see my lower price level is currently at 1048. I can click and drag that up and drop it and it gets close to the 127, but I can actually input my number and now I'm right on 127. And then my upper limit is going to be 14,000. So again, I can drag this down, get close. I'll clean that up and now I've got my grid bot set according to the levels I'm comfortable with now that's the first step the next step is you have to look at your grid spacing and the number of grids you have in this case my grid spacing is only 0.26 percent now coinbase fee is half a percent for a buy half a percent for, for a sell that's going to cost you 1% right there. So you want your grid spacing, in my opinion, to be greater than 1% because each time I buy and sell, I want to make my fee back plus profit. So in this case, I need to reduce this number to a number that's going to be greater than 1%. And by dropping it down to nine, I get to 1.23%. Now, that's actually not going to be very meaningful for me. So I might need to actually drop my lower limit price. So in that case, let's see what happens if we drop that to the 12,000 level. Okay, that's a little more meaningful to me. So now we have a 1.95% grid spacing, which would be a little more interesting to me. And again, this is on a position for a long-term hold. I'm not looking for big short-term gains. Obviously, if Bitcoin goes up, I'm getting the gains because I'm holding the Bitcoin anyway. But what I'm really trying to profit on is the chop in Bitcoin, that sideways motion that Bitcoin produces as it goes from level to level. So I'm trying to profit off of this chop. Now I've gone down to the 12,000 level, which is prior resistance. So future support and kind of the start of this recent move up. I would certainly like to see it hold 12.7, but at worst case, definitely 12. So now I've got that set up. And the next thing I need to do is adjust my investment amount. And it's telling me I need at least 172 US dollars to start this bot. And so I'm going to go with $5,000. Now, again, you needed a minimum of 172. And so now I need to set up my stop loss, which I will put just below the 12,000 mark. And I'm going to put it at 11.9. If the price action is dipping down below that 12,000, I'm actually really concerned 
that the next level will be 10,000. So what I'd want to do is get out, wait for it all to shake out, and then reconfigure the bot. Because if we break 12, I see 10 as the next level. And then I also want it to trail up. And in order for it to trail up, I need at least 10 grids. And now that I have 10 grids in place, you'll see my grid spacing is 1.73%. That will work for this particular deployment. And then the final step is back test this. Let's see what the results would have produced. We'll do a back test. And in the last 30 days, it would have been up 20%. Not bad, right? Just for essentially holding Bitcoin. Uh, the monthly estimate is 20% and the annual estimate is going to be 244%. That's not too bad. Let's say you had $5,000, you wanted to invest in Bitcoin, set it, forget it. This would work for you on a annual basis of 244% return. Now, it's important to understand backtesting results are not future results and are not guaranteed. So with that all being said, I'm willing to go ahead, deploy this bot, set it and forget it. Now the reality is none of my bots are set it and forget it. I mess with them every day, but a lot of you are constantly asking me about set it and forget it. And this is about as close as you can get to set it and forget it. So with that being said, the final step, is to start the bot and to start the bot is necessary it needs to buy some Bitcoin obviously so it can sell on the way up it's got to hold some Bitcoin and so yes I wanted to go ahead and buy the amount of Bitcoin it needs in order to move up and so the bot has started and I will be doing an updated video on how this bot is performing so again important to subscribe now uh, if you like this video do me a favor and spike a like if you have any questions or comments, leave those down below. I do try to read all the comments when possible, and I think that pretty much does it. So remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.